YouTube! Tis I, uh, the cool legendary hero, and his amazing assistant, Drexton! Yeah, buddy! We can thank good old Drexton for the music. What is give him a round of applause, fellow viewers? Well done, Drexton. Thank you. You the man. You the man. Alrighty, last time we played good old Ocarina of Time, fellow viewers, we began the third dungeon, which is Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. We went around doing it, we saw some jellyfish, we saw some bubbles, we saw some octa rocks, and then we finally figured out who Princess Ruto was. We weren't sure who she was, but then we finally found her, and she told us she had to find something in Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, which was the spiritual stone. So we kind of did some tasks with her, um, and she kept saying that we were inconsiderate and glad we left her behind and, you know, she was just being rude to us and luckily we were able to finally handle her and stuff and then we found her stone and she wanted us to throw her up there so we did and then we tried to walk towards her because she wanted to go home and then that big octo rock, or sorry, not big octo rock, I think it's big octo, came from out of nowhere and we had to kill it and then we ended up in this area so looks hopefully looks familiar so now we have no idea where princess ruto is and yeah we have to figure out where she went because she's gone so enough me chat and let us continue this dungeon actually we're going to be finishing up this dungeon today so let's go Alrighty, let's go on in here. Alrighty, guys. Um. Okay. So these things. Um. You might know about these from last video. I went into a room and had a one of these. And it just showed it for a little bit. Wasn't that much. Um. So I'm not sure what the heck these are called. I just call them red things for um, kicks and ghouls. So, I'm not sure what these are called, but we're going to wait a minute, because down below here, there's actually a Octorok. That's what we need to get rid of, because um, we don't want him interrupting these, because what we could do with these is we can go like this, and we stun them. Wasn't that cool? Like, you could have... um. You know, you could have probably done that without him, like, hitting you, unless you're, like, really lucky. I've done it before, but I don't know. I just didn't want to get hit at that part, so. So, yeah, all you do is just stun these with the boomerang, and it's really simple. Um, you can either get rid of the Octorok or not. It's really up to you, so. Alrighty. Let's go on in here. And what is this? Oh, it's this room, guys, from like at the very early beginning because that's the very first jellyfish we encountered. Alrighty. And then I don't know if I, I don't think I showed anything about this um, last video or this um, particular area. Um, so basically, um, when we were interacting with the blue shits last video, you know what to do, we need something to hold this down because if we walk away, it will just be locked. So luckily, there are some crates over here. You can just um, just pick one of these, it doesn't matter. I'll pick this one. And just like we did with Ruto, we're gonna set it on this blue switch. So, drop. Alrighty. Uh, so many jellyfish. I swear, guys, this was based off of SpongeBob because so many jellyfish. Well, actually, um, their name is BD. Um, I don't even know if that's Japanese for jellyfish, but that's just, that's what the name of these enemies are, so. There you go. Alright, got some seeds. I didn't even do Navi. I don't know. Sometimes the C stick on my GameCube controller just it's weird sometimes. 
Alrighty. Oh, I hear a gold sculptula. That, I, I don't know why I keep doing that. I don't, I don't mean to do Navi, but... Oh, one more. Alright, that should be all of them. Oh, look at all the three rupees. Alrighty, guys. So, we're gonna... Gold sculptula right there. Alrighty. We're gonna climb up and get that sculptula token. Holy cow, how many of those have we gotten so far, guys? Let us check real quick. How many Sculptulas? Oh, just so you guys know, um, if you see that by the title of the dungeon inside Jabba Jabba's belly, you see the Sculptula symbol. That means we have um, cleared all the Sculptulas in this dungeon. So that's really amazing to know. So anyway, we have killed 31 Sculptulas. Wow, um, we'll have to go definitely go get a prize because every ten sculptula, ten sculptulas we get, we get a prize. So, anyway, guys, um, so this is a it's not tricky, but right here is like some glass. Like Navi will say, there's a switch beyond this point or beyond this wall. Sorry, I don't know why I said point. And if you, it's glass. Like I don't know if it makes a glass sound, but. So what you do is you just kind of stand where I'm at, and then just boomerang. And then that opens the boss area. So isn't that interesting? Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump down, because I'm too lazy to climb down. So, like I said guys, this is the boss room. Holy cow, we are finally at the boss. Alright, let's pray first though, before we, um, before we double the boss. All right. Um, hopefully, um, during the boss fight, it's not blurry. Hopefully, I destroy the boss, and um, hopefully, this will be successful. So, amen. Alrighty, guys. What is take on the boss of this dungeon? I hear something. What in the world is more jellyfish? Probably can't really see it, but um, this is good old um, Baronade. This is the this is Baronade. Um, it's basically a um, big, big um, what? Uh, I don't know, I don't want to say jellyfish, but it's kind of like a heart to Jabba Jabba. And what you just did, or what I did, was those little tentacles, um, just, um slice them with the boomerang, and then you stun, um, Darinade, as you just saw, and the jellyfish, um, that you just saw earlier, that were going slow, you just attack him and the, they disappear. Like, you could go around and slicing them. So, alright, this is basically the first phase, but it's a little faster, so, I don't know, ah, stop. Alright, so, now we actually have to slice the jellyfish. Oh, ow, that's gotta hurt, I did not mean that, but there's one jellyfish, so this should be easy. Great Googly Mowgli, this is one purple boss fight. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Alrighty. Alrighty. The final phase. We just have to kill this. Alrighty. Jump attack. Jump attack. And then careful of the... Those. They'll electrocute you. Even though I've already gotten electrocuted already by the jellyfish. So... I just got electrocuted right there. Alrighty, boss fight's almost done, guys. Golly, I keep getting electrocuted. Did it again! Golly, come on, come on, Link. There you go, buddy. And that kills. I want to say this is um, Jabu Jabu's heart, but it somehow got corrupted with like jellyfish or. 
you know, some electrical curse. Because I think that was Jabu Jabu's heart, but I really don't know. Um, it just says it's Baronade. So, and we get its amazing heart, guys. And by doing that, we finally have a total of 10 hearts. Hallelujah. 10 hearts. Oh, golly, Link. What is that all over the place? Ah. Oh. And oh my gosh, finally, that's where you went, huh? You've been just sitting in this portal. So that's where you went. You, you are late. What took you so long? You are useless. Hey, don't be calling me useless. Because first of all, you disappeared after that big octo freaking came down and we were like, where the heck did you go? So don't be saying any sass talk to us, Missy. So, watch your tongue. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Yeah, a little. I bet you were scared to death once you disappeared out of nowhere. Golly, I was worried about you as well. So, freaking don't do that to us, you know that? And... Like before, we're going to heaven with Princess Ruto. And it's a white screen, which I hate. <laughs> oh, uh, this that was my favorite scene right there, just so you know, guys. Um, Ruto flirting with Link, so funny. Well, what do you want, Ruto? You, you looked cool, cooler than I thought you would. Anyway, just a little. I am amazing! Seriously, yeah, I took some damage during that boss fight, but I'm still amazing. I'm not just cool. I'm amazing. I'm a hero after all, just so you know, Ruto. So, meh. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. Oh no, what are you gonna give me? Please not love. Please. What do I wish for? Hmm. Do I want the spiritual stone or nothing? Definitely want that spiritual stone. Because you were taunting me last video. You know that? You mean the spiritual stone of water is over sapphire, don't you? Um, yeah. My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Whoa! Okay, Ruto. No! I am not gonna be your husband, holy cow. Whoa. <laughs> um, I probably should have done nothing, because that's a little too far. Alright. No, 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 no. I can't get married right now. Ruto, please, can we get off that subject? How about how were the school days, you know? How how about when we went to school, you know that? I'll give you my most precious position, so let's sapphire. Oh no. Alright, Link, we gotta go buy a tux. We gotta you know, prepare for this wedding that we have to go to, apparently. So, whoa, she's giving us something. Ooh, what? It, oh, she gave us the spiritual stone. We finally got it, guys. And we finally have... The third spiritual stone, you untamed Zora Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious positions, you don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Woo! Yeah, we did! Hallelujah, guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back. We finally got the three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Alrighty, we're gonna go do that. Don't tell my father. Oh, I'm gonna tell her, your father about everything you just told me about wanting to get married, about having a husband, you know? So, alrighty guys, we have finally finished up the third dungeon. Alrighty. Okay, so, there are a couple things um, we can do around here before I actually end the video. So, if you come on over here to this kind of, I don't know, kind of the edge of the map. Um, if you hit this tree, 
As we all know, good old gold Skulltula. We have destroyed a gold Skulltula. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't know why I read that. We've seen that so many times. All right. Um, so we need our good old bombs. So we blow that up. And then, ooh. What is this? Great Fairy's Fountain. What is this? Oh, of course, good old Zelda lullaby. Um, I'll explain some stuff after this cutscene and about the item that she's going to be giving to us. Um, kind of got some information for you guys about some stuff. So Let's say good old hi to the Great Fairy. It's been a while since we've seen her. So. How you doing, Great Fairy? Of course, you're still almost naked as usual, so... Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. And you... Give us something green. It's all sparkly. Alrighty, we got Ferore's Wind. This is a this is warp magic you can use with C. Warp when you are in danger. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time or warp to that point. And then she tells you that um, you can only use Ferore's Wind only in dungeons. And that you have the dungeon map. So, all right. Tells us come back when we're injured, but who knows if we'll ever come back. Alrighty, guys. Um. Okay. So about that item we just got. Let me exit this area, and we're gonna. I'm gonna take some time to kind of explain it a little bit. So the item that we kind of got. Um. It's useful for newer Zelda players. So if you're new to this game. Um, I highly recommend it, or highly recommend using it, because if you're, like I said, if you're new to the game, and you don't have a lot of hearts like I do, then I highly recommend, recommend using it. To me, I just feel like it's useless. Um, there's really no point in, um, warping back to the beginning of the dungeon, because you just, we're just finishing up the dungeon, you know, there's really no point, but like I said to me, or like I said, if you're new, use it. If if you're not new, don't even bother with it. It's just a completely useless item. Kind of like the deck and that. So, um, so yeah. Um, all right, guys. One thing before we end the video, if we come on, come on over here, play the good old sun song. Because of course, um, oh god, wait, it's so dark. So, 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 so dark. Alright, guess it didn't want to be nice and leave us on the, um, wood. Alright, if you go on over here, there is a gold skull chiller right here. You might be able to see it. Can you see that? Can you see? I think you can. Can you see that? I think you can. So, let's use our trusty boomerang. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Alright, I want to make it daytime. Because I like the day. I like the daytime. Oh, anyway. About um the part that this part we just did, we you could have actually done that a little earlier before entering Jabu Jabu's belly, but I just wanted to you know save it after the dungeon, just so you know where it is, you know. So, alrighty guys, um, yeah, there's kind of really um nothing else to really do as of right now, so um. Oh, fun fact about this um, wooden fence that's in front of us. 
during early betas um, of this game, this fence was originally not blocked up. And when you went down that waterfall, it was actually the waterfall that you play Zelda's Lullaby in, um, in front of Zora's River. It's that same waterfall. You're, you somehow, you went down there and you landed in Zora's River area, like right by the waterfall. It's unknown what, it's unknown why they blocked this off though. I don't know if people would have used it as um, misuse or what, but I feel like it was a little sad that this was blocked off, or it might have been maybe a little too easy. So I don't know. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a wonderful time in this video. So, all right, Link, you go to bed and you have a wonderful day, fellow viewers. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Peace!